How's it going guys? In today's video, we're going to be playing a live rapid game on my mainly chess account, as opposed to the rating climb series that's currently going on. And I'm just going to be talking you through my thought process as I'm playing. Hopefully you find it entertaining, you learn something and you enjoy the video. If you do, please drop a like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Helps grow the channel and offers a bit of alternative chess entertainment from you know the main few youtubers which there's nothing wrong with but you know um i normally play the king's indian against d4 c4 but i've been really enjoying the nimzo recently which starts like this and the whole point of the nimzo as far as my understanding is to stop white from playing e4 and you often take the knight on c3 because the knight can control the e4 square. Your dark squared bishop can't because it's a dark squared bishop, right? There are some lines where a3 gets played and you just drop the bishop back. But I think maybe d5 is supposed to be on the board to do that. I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not really sure. There's a lot of theory with the Nimzo Indian, which is why haven't played it in like a proper game yet because I know I don't understand it all so it'd be kind of silly to play it in a game that matters I think I'm gonna go start with h6 I'm expecting the bishop to drop back yep I'm not gonna play g5 but h6 just offers you know a luft for my king so that's never a bad move we could go d6 knight d7, we could go b7, bishop b7, which is the typical way to develop the bishop to control the e4 square. Um, let's think. I think I prefer d6. Now d5 is a move. Maybe it's better to play d5, but I like d6 just because it leaves options of c5 open potentially. Um, I also don't really want to trade the pawns. Bishop d3. So we can play e4. We can play it. If he goes e4. We might have to move the queen. c5 I actually quite like. I'm going to play it. Because if e4 gets played e5 is threatened because the knight's pinned to the queen so i'd like an escape for my queen also it just challenges the center now i don't really like taking i'd rather him take me so i'm going to start by taking this knight just because this bishop I'm, i i did send it there to die and we damage it, the pawn structure of our opponent and we're going to go b6 Looking for bishop b7, probably queen c7. Um, just try and get a bit more of a grip on e4. Now, what I would love is something like bishop b7, queen c7, knight e4 and f5, knight f6. That's the dream. That's the dream uh, Nimzo Indian setup. Again, from my understanding. So, I'd love to make that happen. If e4 is played, e4 I think we're going to go queen c7. And e5, I think we take. I think we take, I think we can damage white structure. Yeah, so queen c7. e5 we take. And if white just plays a move like rook e1. Probably go bishop b7. Again, this is always open, but we want him to take us to leave him with doubled isolated pawns. And also then we can get a knight to c5, which may maybe not straight away. Maybe we have to take with the queen if he were to take us. But the c5 square will become open for future use. Which would be nice. Okay, rook c1. You know, rook c1 makes sense if we take him, because then he supports the c5 push. 
but we're not going to take him unless there's like a concrete reason to um at some point in the future it's okay rookie one let's think it's it's hard to really come up with a plan here it's not easy because we can't really get to e4 and i don't want to play d5 unless i do so let's think d5 takes takes e5 94 takes takes knight d2 Hmm. I think we might be losing this pawn. There. There, there, there. So just pawns like that. <sighs> Can knight e4 work? Because if takes, takes, knight there. Hmm, I don't know whether I can defend that pawn properly. Because there's a pawn on e5, so I can't go knight f6, because it would be under attack. Hmm. Taking here doesn't work, because then that would open up an attack on my queen. Can we prepare this? Can we prepare it? Say so move like rookie eight, does that help? I don't know. What about E five? E five might be good. If takes takes, white's got this horrible structure. And but the structure does hold that square rather well, so maybe it's all right. And our d5 square is very weak, so if here and he pushes, then we're probably happy, probably happy. Bring our bishop back. Reorganize our pieces for a kingside attack with f5. Yeah, I'm, I'm not that familiar in the Nimzo, so I'm trying to come up with plans. I don't know if e5 is right, though. We might just want to make a move like rook e8. Although he might be threatening d5 himself. But d5, we can just lock it. Tough, 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 tough. I really want to make d5 work. But there, 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 I don't see it. I don't see how it works. Because again, knight there takes, takes, knight d2. Wait. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to go rook a to e8. Because then d5 takes, takes, there, there. Takes, takes, knight d2. I think we can go f5. Because if he takes us en passant, we take with the knight. And then our rook opens up on the pawn. So bishop takes, rook takes. We have enough defenders because this rook adds a defender. And if d5... Takes, takes, there, there, takes, takes, bishop d, qu knight d2, f5, if he 
he doesn't take us, then we have a good defense. Yes, he does have a passed pawn on e5, but we're also threatening g5, bishop g3, f4 to trap the bishop. That's a lot of arrows, but I think that works. I think that works. So the question is, the question is, what is white going to do? Now we could play d5 and white could just not take us. Like, okay. I don't think that changes anything there. Yeah, we're going to do it. I didn't do all that calculation for nothing. So let's go ahead. D5. I'm sure this is the key idea of the entire opening. So we will see. This bishop does look awkward. Really does. He might go bishop g3 to start with. Just to put it on a nicer diagonal. Which would make sense. Okay, he's going to take. This is what we calculated. Here, here. Is the idea. And he, he can potentially get connected past pawns. But I think we can deal with it. I think we can deal with it. Especially because we can potentially start making threats on the king side. And our bishop will become quite strong. Yeah, okay. So, kind of as expected. Where does the queen want to go? I'm going to go c6. There, there. Takes, takes. Knight d2. f5. Could swing it to g6. That would be a lovely square. I don't see any other good squares for the queen. I think c6 is nice. I think that is nice. And of course, if he pushes and we jump in and he plays a move like knight d2, we might be able to play f5 there. So that's another option. It's, um, it's a nice position. Okay, there we go. I think including bishop g3 with tempo before e5 was played was also a good move from my opponent. I think that was very logical. Because although the bishop here was taking up the 8, but g5 came with tempo, which could potentially trap the bishop if f5 and f4 are played. So, bishop also waver it protects its pawn. You could argue it's got loads of defense and doesn't need any extra anyway. So, 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 what is white going to do? Now, taking on c5 looks very wrong. If he takes on c5... Whoa. Well, this move I didn't look at. <laughs> I did not look at this. Hmm. Well, I suppose it can't be a bad move. He's keeping the bishop on the board, which could be smart. I guess he's just kind of throwing the ball back in our court and asking what we're going to do. F6 is tempting. F6 is definitely tempting. But do we even really want to take and allow something like this? don't know. I think I might start with king h8. Just so this diagonal doesn't become weak if we move the f-pawn. It's kind of a waiting move, right? 
I don't really know what I want to do. I'm going to see if white does anything that makes our decision easier. If white takes, our decision's made for us. And King H8, certainly, you know, an improving move. Doesn't do anything, you know, aggressive or any big, any big thing. But time isn't really that important in this position, I don't think, because it's a, cl it's a fairly closed position. Um, my pieces are on nice squares. You could argue this rook isn't doing a whole lot, but we're also preparing a push with the f pawn. This rook's on a nice file. The queen's fairly nicely placed. I would love to put it on g6, but. I don't really like this pin. Um, okay, opponent is also waiting. No one wants to make any commitments here. So if we play this, I think we should. I think we should play it. F6. Now we can't advance because he hangs the pawn. And we are kind of threatening to take. So if he takes with the bishop, we could do something like that. Could do something like that. And if he takes with the knight, I don't know. Okay, queen d3 is odd. That's a really strange move. I mean, our knight can't move because he'd mate us, but I wasn't going to move my knight anyway. You know. Take. 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 There. He takes with this pawn. I don't know. He gives us a lot of central control then. The C pawn's going to become very weak. Because he'll um, isolate it. Mm. Yeah, but I kind of liked this variation. Knight takes queen f6. Right? Now, is he preparing a rook sack? No, because our bishop maintains defense. Queen f6. This is on the cards. In not not now, but in some scenarios, maybe. Our bishop's doing a great job of keeping this knight in place. F3, I missed. Missed that. C4, Queen C2. Knight back to... So, yeah, Queen F6 did just take away the retreating square for the Knight to defend H7. If we go Knight G5, then H4. Knight g5, h4, do we have anything? Hmm. Not good. Not good. And we are low on time. Trying to come up with a defense. There, there. I don't see. I don't see what we can do. Just play c4. Queen c2 just maintains everything, but we can hope.
my mic just turned off for some reason. Don't know why. Um. Hmm. This is not not a good situation. Nineteen seconds. H H four just wins, right? Must do. I don't see how we stop it. Even as this. To be honest, I'd be happy to see that. Because then we're only going down an exchange. I don't know if I can come up with a defense for H4. <sighs> come on, think. Think, think, think. Oh, wow. What? We might have to take with the king, though, and exchange all the rooks, but, I mean, we're down in exchange, sure, but why has he just allowed this? And queen here. That's scary. I mean, it's a horrible position. <laughs> You'd have to be a genius to figure out this is a horrible position. Um, oh, all that. That works just as well. Now we're going to have to try and fight back. Let's go king here. Now we're going to have to try and make sure this rook cannot infiltrate. Don't know if we can stop that here. Falls to this. He's getting in. And there is seemingly nothing we can do. Okay, we're going to try and create a passed pawn then. Ah, that is a killer. That is a killer. Yeah, no. Because the knight can only go here, and then he's going to pin it and win it. Did I have a better move? Not really. Yeah, here. I don't know why he didn't just play h4. But knight g6 is very winning still. I would have had to go back to e4. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder where I went wrong. Here I'm far worse. It's like e5. e5 needs to be played. And if he takes, I was kind of worried about this. Because I thought he could get a knight here through like this maneuver. Okay, well. Well, well, well. That's tough. Clearly, I don't know my Nimzo theory. I think I got it right for the most part. Yeah, d6. e5. I didn't think e5 was correct. Doesn't like c5. And yeah, and there, it, just, it just wants e5 the whole time. But I don't play it. And here are we just completely losing the whole time. Here I've got queen e6. Yeah, I wanted f5. Sits here. Why is this good? Because I go, yeah, yeah, because I move my king back to g8, of course. Of course that's the move. Why, why wouldn't I see that? <laughs> Bishop takes, 
bad idea to take it. Because I suppose it allows the knight to take and then frees up f3. So it wants... h5? What? Maybe that allows queen h6 to defend mate. That might be why. Okay. But here I'm just losing. Yeah, I've, I was sure I had to take with the king. Yeah, there's just nothing I can do here. I completely missed h4. And the, the problem is the knight can't go anywhere. This is the only safe square. And then bishop here pins the knight to the king. I can't defend it. And he's going to win the game. That's the game. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me play the Nimzo Indian. Horribly by the looks of it. I just did not know e5 was the right idea. Like, I considered it, but I didn't think it was correct. Clearly I was wrong. <laughs> Gotta improve that. Gotta improve.